Getting back into the starting lineup today. They've had their ups and downs, the Russians, and uh, he has mirrored his team's fortunes. Sergei Grankin, joined by Ivan Yakovlev, Fedor Vorokov. Igor Filipov comes back into the starting lineup. After starting yesterday on the bench, and there is the suave Pavel Kruglov with uh, Yevgeny Andreev being sent out as the libero by uh, Russian Finnish coach Thomas Samelvalo. Confirmation then of his starters, and it's a return to the starting lineup for Igor Filipov. For Italy, they are led out by their young setter, Riccardo Spettoli, who's been uh, doing a lot of work in the absence of Simone Gianelli. He'll stay at home for this one. Nick Cui will be joined by Roberto Russo, a young middle blocker who's picked up good experience here. Antonov gets a start today, which is nice to see. Simone Anzani coming out. Gabriele Nelly as well. Nice to see Gian Lorenzo Blengini giving Oleg Antonov a start. So it's very uh, emotional for him to be going up against the Russians. Very much part of the Italy squad, Antonov, but as I say, his father, an outstanding player for the old Soviet Union, and an Olympic silver medalist more than 30 years ago. Well, Italy tend to go as Nelly goes, and the Russians can keep him in check. I fancy this. Paper, there's not an awful lot between these two. It'll be Ivan Yakovlev who will get this one underway. One of the best servers and possibly the best blocker of this competition. Sets. Yakovlev then lining it up. Oh, and it's ace right off the bat. That didn't look like the hardest one to be dealing with, but Dipko has made a mess of it. And Yakovlev has been consistently difficult to deal with for every opponent during the course of this World Cup. He gets off to the perfect start. Russia begin this match with an ace. Yakovlev will be looking for another one. Well, Kui hasn't exactly handled that one particularly brilliantly. He'll get third touch here as well and rip it. Side out. from Spertoli. Bit of fancy football there from uh, Simone Anzane, but it's uh, all in vain. It's a nice take. Pavel Krugloff then with serve. Nelly with a cross court kill. To serve. Good server. Just missing with that one. That'll bring up Bolizhnik. He nets. Yeah, had a lot to deal with there. 
foot on Koff. Managed to uh, get the better of the block. Filipov. Kui has taken that. One handed set. Nice put away. Oleg Antonov. Yes, Bertoli continues to look really confident under the net for Italy. The job of backup setup for Italy in the Olympics up for grabs, and he hasn't done a bad job at all with his audition. There's an ace dropped in from a man who sends plenty. Gabriele Nelli delivers another one. And that one to the collection. That'll be his 11th serve. That's an ace. Double figures in blocks as well. And of course, such a big hitter. Huge all-round contributor for the Italians, Nelly. There's another one. Whoa. Watch out. Well, he's absolutely ripped that. Podlesnik probably should have made a move on that. That was his. But Podlesnik has had his wobbles on service reception. So Nelly will look for the hat trick here. That's taken by Podlesnik. Tough take this, but a well taken swing there for Pavel Kruglov. A really good looking swing there from Kruglov. Who knows all about good looking, of course. Spectoli goes backside. Gabriele Nelly does a lot of his work on the backside. There he goes again, lurking, driving me down the line. Net cord that took the momentum out of it. No. It's just hoisted over and hope for the best here for the Russians. And Spectoli takes a beautiful second touch. Really nicely played there. Quite a young setter who's had a very solid World Cup. That's a real indicator of his confidence. Made his decision and executed. So Italy with a useful little lead here after the first technical timeout. Antonov sends that one in. Poleznik does a really nice job. Attack, well, the inside take doesn't work. And the block doesn't work either. And the Russians slipping off the pace here early in this first set. And he's very aware of that. Antonov then. to uh, bring a little bit more heat here. It was a good one as well. Where's that going? Nice take. And then the block. Sent back. I wonder if that was Spertoli, who was certainly in the vicinity. It is. It's Spertoli again. He is such a good blocker. That is his 15th block of the competition. Are you getting 15 blocks out of your setter? That's a big bonus. So Krugloff wiped the smile off his face, didn't it? And 
Hampton off. Oh, it's a beauty. It really is a beauty. This is a tough take for Krugel off. He gets blocked. There's another one. That's Russo. Oh, this is a really, really poor spell of play here from the Russians. They're just second best. All over. That might have been Spatoli again. Surely not. Well, had to take that time out. Well, this is a big lead the Italians have built up here in this opening stanza. Antonov will look to add to it here. Introduction of Denis Zemchenok into the lineup for Russia on court can uh, affect a turnaround in their fortunes because this isn't very good at all. Great. And, uh, there's a big swing there from Boromkov, which takes something on the way through. Side out. seems to be the key offensively for this Italy squad when he's kick clicking they're doing well they're rolling at the moment they're looking very comfortable indeed and so too is Gabriele Nelli who has just uh, found his range early Russo with serve but Lesnik tries to find a winner Russo with a wonderful rescue rather. and Tom with an absolutely wonderful rescue well, the inside take was beautiful, terrific execution. That was all about Antonov in the backcourt right there. That's the rescue. Look where he's dropped it. Spertoli just has to hang it up there for Anzani to drill. At any time, you're burning your two timeouts before the second technical timeout. It's not good. Real passion there from uh, Thomas Samelbo, who's just trying to stamp his mark on this Russian squad. I wonder if the Russians are feeling a little bit leggy because the matches do come thick and fast here. And if you're the last match up, as Russia were yesterday, you're coming off court around 9.30 at night and here you are back on court 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not a lot of recovery time and they do look sluggish here. That's better from Paul Lezhnik. Rubby one off the block. Well, none of the coaches have made that excuse because coaches and players don't like making excuses this level of competition but you do wonder if you're the last match up you don't have an awful lot of time to recuperate that hasn't been an issue for Japan of course who've been the last match throughout Netta there from Yakovlev who won't be adding to his 15 aces in the competition he hasn't yet added to his 28 blocks which is Phenomenal tally. That'll happen. That'll come. Spertoli. 
double digit ace server. Oh, it's another miss. Another miss from Bezhnik. That will take Italy to a remarkably comfortable 16 7. The Russians just not online at all. Ma freni in questa posizione. Arriva, se sei già partito, arrivi e freni frontale. Non diagonale per non saltare in rotazione. Ok? Eh? Raga, per me con perfetta gli dà una palla all'opposto. Ok? Grazie. Spettoli serves Podleznik, who takes that nicely near side. Zemchenok, the containing block is in place. Balasso feeds Nelly, who is also blocked. Nice work by Podleznik. Then contact at the antenna. Coming from the Russians on last touch. As soon as the uh, ball touches the antenna, that's a dead ball. And the last team to touch it is guilty of the foul. So that's it over and off the block into the antenna. That's the end of that one. Incredibly, it's now a double digit lead here for Italy over Russia. Everything looked like this was going to be a close match, but this first set certainly isn't close. Not at all. Breaking hangs one up there. There is no win for Filippo. There is a block point. Zemchenko. Well, this is what Russia will have to do. This set's gone. Forget about it. Let's see if you can find something to uh, carry into the second set. The block had all day to uh, get set there. And now Nelly denied. Zemchenko. That is an aggressive serve. It's coming back on first touch. And what do Italy do with the overpass? There's contact at the net there from the Russians. Well, it's uh, just all going horribly wrong for Thomas and Melbourne. We will just be hoping to get this first set done as soon as possible, I think, and then just press the reset button. Kui with the floater picked up by Filipov. And then the block's there. there is more contact with the antenna. And he's not happy at all. There's uh, another substitution coming in. His player has come off the bench a couple of times, Sergei. Okay. Well, Anton Semishev coming in for Podleznik. A steadier service returner, Semishev. And they've looked more balanced when he's come on in difficult times. Obviously, there's no recovering this set. But the Russians will be looking to try and take something forward. So, Koi looks for an ace. Just sends it on the wrong side of the sideline. There's a switch up for the Italians. The young Daniele Lavia will come in for Cui. 19 year old replacing a 31 year old. Russia able just to uh, build a little bit of traction in what the remains of this first set. Easy. Anzani. Perfect service reception. Really good. Everything else just flowed from there, really. That's the take. Well, they did the right thing going after the new player, Lavia, but he didn't handle that much better. Candelaro comes in, big server. Great blocker as well, Davide Candelaro. So he'll replace Anzani. Italy looking to just seal the deal here. 
Bringing Candelaro in. That's not the uh, most dynamic of serves. It's got exactly what it deserved. Voronkov ripped that one away. Easy take. Absolutely devastating swing from Fedor Voronkov. Side out. Filipov not been challenging with his serves thus far, and there's another one that won't do any damage at all. Power of the brow there from uh, Filipov. Now, Gabriele Nelly, one of the more dangerous servers. There's a couple of aces in this set already. Knight oh, almost got a third one there. Just pushed over, and that's a nice push as well from uh, Voronkov, who finishes the job as well. Did really well there, Voronkov. Covering off a shaky service reception. His third touch earlier was beautiful, and then the put away there down the line. A carbon copy of the earlier one. Grankin with the floated serve. Not a winner there. And there's not a winner there for Varonka either. That was a beauty. Well, Roberto Russo has to fight for playing time with so many talented middle blockers in here. Anzani, Piano, Candelaro. And young Roberto Russo making his mark there with a big block. Italy closing in on this. First set, Antonov. It's too long. That'll bring in Arresta Cavuto, who's been playing really well in this World Cup. Have a lot of starts. Starts on the bench here. With Antonov given the start against his uh, country of his birth, which was a really nice touch by Gian Lorenzo Blanchini. Here is Fedor Voronkov, part of the uh, VNL gold medal winning squad from July. Seven players from that squad here in Russia, or here in uh, Japan for Russia. Just missed. Lovely idea. There is another change with Anzani coming back into Candelaro here. So who sends it long. Barry remains. Set point. Uh, there's the net serve. From Ivan Yakovlev, who was anonymous in that first set. Russia anonymous in that first set as well. It can only get better for them. The only surprise here is just how comfortable that was for Italy. 25-13, Russia looking flat and leggy. You just wonder if the exertions of yesterday have caught up with them a little bit here. The day off is tomorrow, but Russia played that first set like their day off is today. The only way is up for them.
Here's the numbers then. Not good reading from the Russian perspective. 11-7 attack hits. Four blocks. A couple of aces from Nelly. And not much of a contribution at all from the Russians. They did get a block from Filipov. And Yakovlev did serve up an early ace. But they faded away pretty early and never looked like making it competitive. So Thomas Samelvo has got to just try and fire up his players after a surprisingly one-sided first set. He'll beat to 13. That is a old school hammering. That's just a beatdown. See if the Russians can respond then. Pick themselves up, wake themselves up. Surely it won't be as easy as that for Italy. You know what remains of this one? Two teams that have spent most of this millennium on an Olympic podium. Italy were there. 2000, bronze, silver in 2004, bronze again in 2012, silver in 2016. For the Russians, gold in 2012, silver in 2000, bronze in 2004, 2008. Two of the real superpowers of world men's volleyball. Both among the also rans of this year's World Cup. They're both eyeing up more Olympic success next year along with the likes of Poland and Brazil and the United States these are two of the teams that are expecting to be knocking on the door for Olympic medals and the back side and uh, Denis Zemchenok drills that one cross court a sharper start then for Russia Yakovlev then. An early ace in this second set. Would give Russia something to defend. Got an early ace in the first set. That's not a great take from Kui at all. But, uh, they are a big, big thank you to Nikola Pesarezi, the libero then. Kui does in particular. He's done all the hard work, out of shot. And then Antonov can just put it away. After Pesarezi laid it up there for him. Really good work by the Libero. And Zani with serve. Zemchenok gets blocked. Big block. I think that might have been Russo again. If it is, that will be his third. Well, he had Antonov next to him were too strong between them for Zemchenko. Uh, the block is contained, Semichev there. That is sent back, really impressed. That was Russo all the way. So off to a quick start again here. Now this is where Russia nearly, really need to just hold on tight. As Simone Anzani will stay on serve. Nice take from Semichev. The pipe attack block sent back by Russo. He just seems to be everywhere at the moment. My goodness me. This is the definition of a stuffed block right there. Voronkov absolutely wiped out by young Russo. Continues then. And another one. Oh, my goodness me. I'm not sure if that was Nelly or whether it was Russo again. It can't possibly have been Russo, can it? Who's just attracting the ball. Well, they were both there. That's Nelly all the way. Italy, of course, won't care. As long as somebody's getting those block points. Russia in absolute disarray. Kovalev comes in for Grank in a straight switch up of setter for Tuomas Samelvo. The block points are raining down here on the Russians. 
5-1 already in this second set. Semichev with the take. Finally the match to run off the block. Side out. That's uh, Anton Karpukov being talked to there. A recent addition to the squad for the Russians. Nelly. That's a bit hot. Too hot. Oh, Nelly rips one off the block there. And Rokov has to slam the brakes on to avoid doing himself a mischief. So Nelly is a big blocker and a devastating server. Serve Semichev, who's handled that much better. Yeah. And then finds a beautiful angle on the cross court. Yeah, really good work there from Anton Semichev. The youngster who was part of the VNL squad that won that gold medal match against the US back in July. Steady player. Nice take by Kui this time. But Kui finds a beautiful finish as well. Just disguised the pipe attack. Didn't drive it in full throttle. Just went for touch, went for placement. Dropped it just inside the sideline. And just in front of the backdoor defenders as well. Technical timeout with a comfortable lead, 8 4 here in set two. Se siamo con le parabole tenendo anche un po' staccato, non è un problema, e ce la giochiamo così, non lasciarlo passare la linea. Oh, ascolta, quella lì ci stava anche un po', perché era staccata, ha preso un rischio lui. Ok, lui il 10 diventa riferimento, ok, in particolare quando gioca contro Ricky. Giocano lì, devono uscire, passano, proveranno a passare di lì. E non c'è problema se saltiamo, salto e risalto, ok? Se c'è la testa, se c'è la 1 lasci e vai con Ricky. Eh, però attento, sulla prima che ha attaccato l'8, eh, no, è il tempo. Al di là che è diagonale parallela, se salti con lui, tu sei già caduto lui è ancora là. Oh, con la flotta battiamo sul rosso, con la spin battete su uno dei due ricevitori, eh? Well, let's see if the Russians can start getting themselves into this match. They will not be plays like that. Dreadful service reception. Spertoli takes first touch on that and uh, really had a chance to put that one away. Couldn't take it. Again, dreadful service reception. They're lucky to get away with that, the Russians. Spertoli. Mr. Freebie. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, an extraordinary serve from Kovalev. That caught everybody by surprise. Well, here's a momentum changer early in this second set. The big miss from Spertoli, then the uh, very, very soft serve from Kovalev. That caught everybody napping. They've moved up for the uh, next one. And that's come back on first touch. Oh, well, well. It's all been too easy for the Italians. No 
and they've allowed Russia to get right back into this. Oh my goodness me. Well, I don't know what Dick Cooey has got to say about this one. Not like he was unsighted. But can't deal with it. Kovalev here showing that you don't have to send in full throttle zingers to cause problems. The soft serve of, of his are creating mayhem. They struggle with that one as well. Nearly eventually rubs it off the block, but that Italian healthy lead has been completely wiped out here. And for the first time in the match, the Russians looking lively. by Voronko. Beautiful. Fedor Voronkov has absolutely ripped that down the line. It's a beautiful thing. Spentoli goes backside. Gooey drills it side out. Gooey <laughs> goes for a very aggressive wind up here. Nice take from Semi Chef. He will get a swing at this one as well. Rubs it off the block. Yeah, the block was there. And it was just too good from Anton Semishev. That will bring up Yakovlev. Oh, my goodness me, Kui's made a mess of that one as well. Well, the Russians won't be messing around here. They'll be going after Kui, and I'll be very surprised if Kui comes back on after this timeout. Just a complete collapse here from the Italians. The service reception has been awful. Well, Blengini, I think, is uh, going to resist making that change. Well, this has been really loose play from the Italians here, as Yakovlev will be looking for more. Said that one too long. Simone Anzani due up next then. And they tied. Second set. And he's not tied anymore. Filipov doing the damage. Damage has been done in a self inflicted manner by Italy here. They had that 8 4 lead at the technical timeout and then just went to sleep. It was like the job was done.
Now, Wilkins Bertoli sent this backside to Nelly. That's nice. Much better. Off. A little duel going on at the net. Play continues. No play there for Russo. Just have to send it over. And then sent back, but that's still a winner for Voronkov as it went out of play. Philippe off then. looking to uh, open up a gap here. Got the Italians chasing. Set this. Spare Toli. As we get ready for the second technical timeout. Just missed. Just missed. What if that'll get challenged? Yeah, you bet it'll get challenged. Um, you can see why. And the way even Yakovlev is reacting, he's seen that with his own eyes. So this one's going to get turned over. I don't know they're ruling. That's interesting. Yakovlev wanted. To, it's in anyway, so they got the point, whatever. But Yakovlev was convinced there was a block touch as well. Either way, Russia get the point. Russia go into the technical timeout, 16 15 in front. Push on and level this here. And have been given a number of freebies in this second set. Voronkov then. Spertoli will send that inside. And Zani will put it away. It's as easy as you like. Side out. Nice take by Kui this time. Blengini must have been tempted to get Dick Cooey out of there earlier in this set when he was having such trouble with service reception. But sometimes it, uh, it's about knowing your player. Sometimes you have to stick with them and work it through. Hey. 
That's a tough one for Zen Chenok to try and take. Can't find a winner. Nelly tries to drop something in. And Dreyev is alert to that. Oh, wonderful work defensively in there. The push goes against Italy. They'll say that's a, a block touch there. He said, oh, no, there wasn't. But we're about to find out. Italy think it was a block touch. Even Yakovlev said, nope. Only one way to settle this one, send it upstairs. There's Nelly. With the push. Nothing there at all, is there? It's just a miss from Nelly. Daniele Lavia will come in again. He does sit down now. It was a substitution they made in the first set as well, so no great significance in that one. And Yakovlev, though, will look for another one of his aces to give Russia control of this second set. Uh, not close. Nowhere near. Candelaro's due to come in, which means he will be brought in to serve. Brought in for Anzani. As Italy look just to get ahead now here. Make Russia do the chasing. Comfortable take. Semichev rips it down the line. Side out. Bit of a whatever serve. What's well, been a bit of a whatever set, really, from Italy. Zemchenok then. Good to uh, find that point on serve for Russia. It was a beauty as well. Nicely taken by Pesarese and then Nelly makes a mess. Double touch call. And Italy now have lost control of this set. And, uh, Lagini will call a timeout as a result. Lingini not impressed. Takes his second time out. Zem chin up then. He'll stay on serve. To better take. Tonoff rips it down the line. Side out. But Italy now chasing a point on serve just to get level here. for that earlier error on the double touch with an absolute beauty of a serve. Italy responding well to that timeout. Blingini is still talking and now Thomas Salvo decides it's time for him to do some talking. He calls timeout. <laughs> Oh! 
So it's Nelly again. Just set that one too far. Semi shift then, serving. Russia looking to pick up the point on serve that will put them back in control of this second set. The second set they need. Lavia's done well to get a piece of that. Antonov can't find a winner. Wonderful rescue from Semishev. The Ronkoff gets blocked out of it. Not sure who got that. It was either Antonov or Russo. Russo has been gobbling them up. If that's him again, this will be his fifth. Wonderful rescue from Semishev. Meanwhile, we've got a challenge coming in from the Russians on this one. Net touch is what they'll be looking for. This is a big moment right here. You see that net move out the corner of your eye sometimes, you're not sure why. So if the point goes against you, throw the flag on it. Get it looked at. Well, that's why the net moved. It's always worth a look in situations like that. Well, if that's another for Russo, or just serve up another five for him. We're back level again. Antonov is back there serving. Nice take. Really nice take from Boronkov, who finishes the job as well, upside out. He's going to come back in for the youngster Lavia. With a switch up as well. Sumachevsky, a serve specialist, comes in for Russia for Filipov. No surprise to see Sumachevsky brought in an absolutely devastating server at his best. If he can find an ace here, Russia will be in control again. Important take. From Antonov, will be finished as well, and Kui takes one off the block. Side out. Well, a lot of activity on the sideline here for Italy. They're looking at bringing in some of their real big dogs, Simone Anzani, Matteo Piano. Can't get much more obvious than that. San Lorenzo Blengini, you're looking for a block. Two of his best middle blockers coming in. Front court. Filipov comes back in for Russia to replace Sermachevsky, but clear what he wants here. Blengini, he wants a block. Russo to serve. Serving Semishev, who doesn't make the best of that. Voronkov has a big block to deal with. Kui's flicked that up in the air. There's a chance here. Nelly has to go for the little push. Now the Russians can regroup. Voronkov will take on the block again and come second again. Anything there? No, Anzani can't keep it alive. So the Russians do make the breakthrough. Italy tried to get that block. Couldn't quite do it. So Piano will check back out as uh, the set of Spertoli will come in. And still, the Russians forcing Italy to chase. They've got a match side out with side out. Point on serve here for Russia. And it's coming on the Kovalev serve, and that's created mayhem before. That one's coming back on first touch. They get away with it. Just about Pesarese doing some terrific work and then a miss. A big miss. That's a set losing miss there from Gabriele Nelly. That's probably the set gone. Kovalev then will stay on serve. Just 
just. But because of that nearly miss, Italy now needing a point on serve just to get back on level terms. Riccardo Spertoli looking to do it here if he can't. Russia at set point. It's a good one, it's a nice, it's a beauty. Oh, just what they needed. Oh, this was horrible. Absolute beast of a serve. For Voronkov to try and deal with. Some elbow had a timeout left, and he's decided to take it right there. What a serve. So that's the immediate crisis past. Italy still looking to try and get in front here. They've been playing catch up for a long time. If uh, this turns into a side out duel, it'll be Russia forcing Italy to match that. And that's exactly what we've got here at set point. Voronkov looking to seal it right here for Russia on set point. A2 gets nothing but nylon. So Kui is due up next. You'd still rather be in Russia's position than Italy's here. As long as you don't concede a point on serve. That's a good one. Really nice take there from Andrea. And then the block's in there again. Beautiful stuff. Anzani, I think, got that. Nelly was right alongside him. Well, Nelly will be really pleased if he's got this, but I think it was all Anzani's work. The two of them were together. Now, they really have put the pressure on the Russians. It's set point Italy. Even if they side out from here, the Russians are now the team chasing. And a chance here for Kui to try and wrap up the set here for Italy. Andreev with a lovely take again. semi chef rubs one off the block, side out. No, both teams have had a set point. Neither able to convert. Sends that backside, and then he's missed again. Oh, that's extraordinary. Well, what odds would he got on Gabrielle in missing two sitters on the business end of a set? Kovlev serving them. There's the block. There's the set. Well, I don't think Gabriele Nelly will be too pleased with himself going back to the bench at the end of that. A couple of big misses from him when it really mattered. And Russia managed to ride it out. Get there. Messy set, it really was. Italy was so comfortable early and then just fell apart. A string of self inflicted wounds. Russia don't care, do they? Couldn't care less. They just needed a way back into this one. And they've got it. And they're level.
Here's the numbers there. Russia getting 15 attack points to Italy's 12. Look at all those blocks for Italy with uh, Russo leading the way and Zani and Antonov with a couple each as well. Three ace serves. And a surprisingly effective serve from Dmitry Kovalev that allowed Russia to get back on terms early in that second set, proving very significant indeed. And a couple of big misses from Nelly, Gabriele Nelly, towards the end of that set. Allowed Thomas and Elbowo's side to draw level. So it's a three-set match now. Third set then. Rush of the serve. There's a block coming back there, but uh, we'll have another go at this. Good. Good enough. Chaos on the other side of the net. Nobody could get it under control. Look at the uh, damage that's done. But the Russians doing an awful lot of damage back. Voronkov with the put away, but uh, Denis Zenchenok doing a beautiful job chasing that one down. But uh, it's not gone off the block, it's gone off the net cord. That's no, there it is. That's, uh, that's off the block. Must have been into the net as well. That's a shame. Real shame. But they do get side out here. Swing there, Balasso will get her up, not Balasso, excuse me, that was Pesarezi. Here comes Trevor. And Thomas Evichev with the put away. Straighten out the uh, gut there. Taking that one, not particularly brilliantly, and gets blocked out of it there, but goes away with it only just. Big block there for Kui to take on. It didn't drop out by much. He's an early veteran, 31 year old. We'll go back to the service line here, Italy serving 3 2 here in set three. Up next. Nearly drew up next at serve for 
Italy, so important to the Russia side out here. That's not a particularly good take from Semishev. Semishev's got time to pull the trigger. Kui's picked it up. Back court. Antonov gets wiped out. Absolutely wiped out by Yakov left. Oh, good grief. There he is, smack in the middle. He took all of that, didn't he? The competition's leading blocker by a mile just adds another stuff block to the collection. And he had another race because he's been serving well as well. Not this time. Nothing doing there for Antonov. Kovalev. Yeah. Gui manages to get something on that, but Pesarese's just got a hoist of hope for the best here. This should be an easy put away. Yes. And eventually is <laughs> harder than it needed to be. Well, they still get the point. This is brilliant work. Gui wouldn't give up on it. Pesarese managed to get it over and then just the tiniest little thing there from Filipov was good enough. Here is Nelly then. It's a nice one. Well taken. Beautifully put away. That's what uh, good service reception will do for you. Got right underneath that beautifully there. Very, very important pick up there from Fedor Voronkov. That's what that point was all about. A leap off with the simplest of put aways. Kovalev continuing to do a steady job here. For the Russians at setter. Zinged in there by Zemchenok. Yeah. They keep that alive. That's wonderful rescue work. Both teams really selling out here. And Tonov, good enough. Well, there's a lot of real battling for points here. Very competitive third set, this. Viola Antonov up next then for Italy in the rotation. Both teams are now settled down and dug in. What could be a long one. We're finally seeing this close match we were expecting. Absolutely beautiful from Zenis. Denis Zemchanok there. That is a textbook cross-court kill. A lot of traffic for Zemchenok to navigate here, and he's done it effortlessly. Semichev overheats that one. Blocking Roberto Russo comes up next. There's another block, not from Russo, that was from Anzani. Oh, Kui, one or the other. Who's got that? Yeah, that is Anzani. The left hand of Anzani stuck out there. Sent that one back. Oh, 
ragazzi, mi raccomando sulla variazione flop, ok? Mi raccomando ancora la difesa, ok? Soprattutto quando fanno variazione del tempo. Lo posto va bene così, eh? Lasciamo... Oh, vai, 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 vai. So serve, nice take, should be put away, and is just drilled. Verovkov sent that on its way. A much better look about Russia ever since uh, Thomas Melvo made that switch up, bringing in Anton Semishev and Denis Zemchenko. One or two of the starters, Pavel Kruglov in particular, looking a little bit leggy, and there's another miscue from Kui. So an easy ace here from Filipov. Well, it's not Kui, excuse me. Take that all back. That was uh, Oleg Antonov making an awful mess of that. Kui's ripped that beautifully. Such a youngster as well. Only 22. He surveyed the whole court here, Anton Semichev, and said, Oh, look, there's nobody over there. That's where I'll put it. Well, then, where's he going to go? Uh, too good. Side is always the play there. Russia making their move here. Il problema è la ricezione della battuta flop. È evidente, non è che dobbiamo parlare di tante altre Siamo in difficoltà con la ricezione della battuta flop. Benissimo, perché? Perché è una battuta che è difficile usare con lei. Siamo lunghi tutti. Usiamo il bugger. Tutti. Ok? Soprattutto in quel giro lì dove siete vicini e lui deve poter stare lungo, tu non puoi stare corto. Ok? Questa si sta più avanti, però decisamente lunghi. Guardate il serving.
Daniele Lampia will come in for Cui again. A regular switch up. Backside it goes. Nelly drills it. Nelly's block keeps things ticking over. Zanchenok can't get through either, but they'll get another go at it here. The Russians. Zemchenok, the big left handed swing. Way too hot for the block. Way too hot. So we've got some chasing to do here, though. The hey, hey. Not the best of takes there from Semichev. Oh, it's caught the line. It's caught the line. It's another block point for the Italians. It's pretty close, but it did catch the line. Russo onto spare Toli, onto the line. alive here. Nelly, though, didn't really have a chance at swinging on that. Then Chenok gets blocked, but it goes out. Side out. Oh, slow to get up. Ricardo Spertoli. He ran into his own uh, teammate there. Fabio Balasso, who is short but compact. Yeah, there is the Libero. Yeah. I'll just be winded, hopefully nothing more than that. Yeah, Balasso just making sure his set is okay. Play can resume. Russia looking to go to the second technical timeout here with a healthy lead if they can secure another point on serve from Zemchenok. Really nice take from Pezzarese. Some, uh, good rescue work on the other side from Zemchenok in vain. So Italy fight that point off. We've just got to find a point on serve here. Much better match the longer this has gone on. After that dreadful start from the Russians. They just weren't at the show at all. Antonov. Too much.
important that Italy dig in here. As we go into the business end then of this third set. Second touch executed to perfection by Spertoli. Side out. It's Russo due up next. Robbed off the block, but no, Italy will contain this. Russo sends it back. Second touch doesn't work. Yes, it does. Just about there from Dmitry Kovalev. Filipov then serving. Russia trying to shake it to the off here. Nelly with an absolute beauty of a cross court. <laughs> Lovely stuff from Gabriele Nelly. Spertoli, okay. After having the wind knocked out of him, he'll now serve. Still Italy looking for the point to level it up. Kovalev goes backside, Zinchenko no! rips it cross court. Beautifully done. Tough take, that one. Yeah, it was totally jammed up there, Lavia. Oh, this third set might just have slipped away from it to the year. That's a big moment. They need an immediate response. And there's Dmitry Kovalev. The awkward serve. Up next, yeah. rips one through the block. That was close. Even your problem now, he always got a big piece of that. Daniele Lavia up next. Nice bit of setting. Yeah! And the job finished beautifully by Rokhov as well, who started it. And a big assist goes to Dmitry Kovalev there for a lovely one-handed set there. Flicked it back. Kovalev driving in, said thank you. I'll take that. So Rokhov will now drop back to the service line with Russia still comfortable here. Side out, but Italy need a couple of points here to avoid falling 2-1 down. Candelaro is brought in. His serve off the bench has not been a big weapon in this match. Getting some instruction there from Blengini as he drops back to the service line. Take. Uh, Candelaro finally does manage to produce something on serve. So that's enough for uh, some elbow. Work. Back in it now.
Delaro though. Sneaks an ace in. Well, they've been waiting for this. Candelaro has certainly delivered when it really matters here. Two beautiful serves. Second one catching the net cord. Uh, just like that, Italy, full level. Two beautiful serves from Candelaro. The second one a clean ace. He sent that one deep. And, uh, Semichev hasn't handled it very well, but he does manage to handle third touch very well indeed. And side out. Zemchenok. It's a beauty. Semichev can't find a winner. Spertoli goes backside now. He rips it down the line. Beautiful pickup from Andrea. Absolutely wonderful. And then a netter under some pressure, it has to be said, from Fedor Barocco. That was a tough, tough take. So, we're level. Here we go again. Russia take a timeout. Okay. This side of the this side. Top of the yacht. Antono. Recontra-attack on a stop-up. Gola. Sean. Antonov with serve here. <laughs> the way. Russia stay noses in front here. And in comes the server. Zermachevsky. Well, it worked for Candelaro for Italy. If it works here for Russia, they should be, of course. For a 2-1 lead, and right now, Gian Lorenzo Blingini alert to the danger. Okay. E coperture, ragazzi, non è che bisogna fare cambio palla alla prima o ghiacciarsi. L'importante è farlo, dare 23 pari, qui andare a fare due pari. Vai, vai, vai. Still going to get the job finished here, a little duel at the net. There's a chance. 
Now, the Italians have got the chance, though. Nelly! No, Zimchenok will pick that up. Pass up for Ronkov. Well, that's brilliant. What a point. Now, can Italy put it away here? Lavia, too good. So important for Italy to win that point on the Sermachevsky serve. Best rally of the match, that. So, can Russia secure a 2-1 lead here? Should be put away, Nelly. That is, side out. Had to have it. Duel at the net there, isn't it? And Russia get control. Zemchenok rips it down the line. Velasco's kept that alive beautifully. Lavia blocked out of it and then somehow manages to sneak it over but out. Ooh, that's a fine margin. Is that going to get looked at? Yeah, I think it's actually been overturned. Upstairs. Yeah, that says it's good. But that was one of those that whoever got the call against them has got to throw down the challenge. Originally called out, then overturned in the chair. But it was out. It was out. So, the heat stays on here. Russia back to set point. A couple of centimetres away from this being set point Italy. Kovalev. Skims the net court. Nelly cross court. Andreev's got that. There we go. Backside. Beautiful rip there. Absolutely super stuff. Well, under pressure there, the teenager has to deliver in these situations. A real chance for Gian Lorenzo Blengini to just see what his youngster can do under pressure. Lavia certainly came up big time there for them. He misses that. This set is over. But we're going deep again. Just like the last set, which Russia won, of course. And Russia have set point again. Way too strong that from Vorokov. So Voronkov then serving for a 2-1 set lead here for the Russians. I thought they were going to get it from that, but they've got a chance here. Kovalev with a wonderful pick-up. Oh, that's on the antenna. Yeah, he just couldn't get anything there, could he, Anton Semyshev? No play there at all. So Italy fight off another set point. That'll bring Simone Anzani up.
is going to be good. Tolov is picked off by Voronkov. Zepchenok away, and Russia grind their way to another set. Back to back, 27, 25 sets, or 28, 26 this one, excuse me. This one's gone deep as well, but it's gone in favour of the Russians. And have really turned this around here after that dreadful first set. They've clawed their way to a 2-1 set lead here. And some big hitting from Denis Zemchenok has really helped the cause. It was his big swing that secured the last point of that set. And it's 2-1 Russia. Is that set by the numbers then, Russia? 19 attack points, getting some blocks going as well. Aces, not a big issue. And if Russia can improve their blocking, then there's every chance that they can go on and win this. Yakovlev, as expected, prominent on blocks. And serves a couple of each for him. Filipov chipping in with a couple of blocks as well for the Russians. Really have just fought their way back into this. Sheer willpower. And they go on and take this in four, or can Italy come back and force a tiebreaker here? We'll find out when the fourth set gets underway. Fourth set then, about to start. Lavia with serve. Balasso <laughs> with a beautiful push there and uh, rubber off the block there, Antonov. Absolutely rock solid, the veteran. Almost improved himself over and over again at the highest level, Denis Zemchenok, but he's uh, thrown down another reminder to his coach here that uh, this is a player you overlook at your peril. It would be a mistake. 
Then Chinook rips one through. Oh dear, that was a tired looking push there from Nelly. This is starting to look like one match too far for Gabriele Nelly, who really has been shouldering a heavy workload throughout this World Cup for Italy, but he's tailed off a little bit here in this one. Let's see if he can just get himself out of this. Got plenty of time here for Italy to get themselves back in the swing of things. Turn off. There's a call there that goes against the Russians. That violation. to deliver on the pipe attack and Tom Semichev delivered big time they're going to just stay there Italy stay close Semichev with no real play there Spare totally just sends it backside again to Nelly block contains Nelly and there's a big one coming in from Fedor Voronkov who takes that one off the block and away Russia starting to really build some momentum Off either. Zemchenov. Another good one. Spetoli's done well. Antonov eventually is forced into a miss. And Italy looking a little bit dispirited here. Some support here, Oreste Cavuto. Okay. They wanted to give him the day off. But Cavuto has been a very, very solid player during this World Cup for Italy. So he'll come in as Antonov gets a breather. But Russia have a healthy lead to protect here. Nearly the netter. Sign out. Kovlev. Well, nearly denied. That's really good with defensive work, but they'll get another go at this. Will they? No. Now Russia can look to transition. Semichev, though, doesn't really have a play there. Nelly. Again, he's picked off. 
Kabuto, oh, he's picked off. This is wonderful work from Voronkov in the back court. It's the miracle shot there from Voronkov. Surely Italy will put it away this time. Kabuto denied again. Voronkov hangs one up there, and Sem Semchenok can't find a winner either. Another terrific rally. Nelly, third time he swung. Semchenok finally says enough is enough. That's a huge point for Russia, that really is. That's absolutely dazzling play. Here we are in the fourth set, and it's been a draining four-setter. And these guys can still come up with a rally like that. And it's all smiles for Denis Zemchenok at the end. Gets blocked. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that was Filipov in the middle of that one. Uh, Russia comes to the first technical timeout. Two sets to one up. And in control of this fourth set as well. He was certainly there. Zemchenok alongside him. Semishev near side. Could be three. Send that one back. Well, they've certainly looked a lot better. Since Kovalev's come in, since Zemchanok came in. Much fresher. Can they go on and complete the comeback here, or can Italy regroup? Not an impossible situation, but 8-5, not healthy. Zemchenok then, he will go back to serve. Ten attack points for him since he came into this contest. No blocks, no aces, so he's overdue. 8-5 then, Russia. It's a good one. Really nice pickup as well. And put away then, it's close to perfect. That's what you want to see. A confident return after the technical timeout. So then, with serve, nice take. He's gone. Side out. Anton Semichev then, the youngster, 22. Hoping to do enough to book a place in. Uh, Olympics next year. A good World Cup. This is the near side. Nelly rips one off the block. Uh, Nelly can get himself right back in to the mix here. There is a good chance that Italy can take this to a tiebreaker. First point he scored in quite a while. Scartoli with the netter. Right 
Philippe off then. 10 7 Russia. Looking for some insurance. Gonna get it there, are they? A big swing, wasn't it? Simone Anzani not holding back there. Daniele Lavia, then the teenager. Too good, too hot, rather. Close. And now, Italy really do have to be watchful here because it's Dmitry Kovalev, he of the confusing serve. They've had problems with this. That one's almost sneaked out and has. There he goes again. Well, he keeps doing it. You keep thinking he's getting lucky here, but he keeps finding a way to drop it right into that net court. Chaos ensues. Italy forced to take a timeout. The gap grows a bit wider. And Kovalev does it again. Okay, non importa. Se riceve riceve uno bene tutti e due, lui è quello che tiene qualche staccata in più. Però battuta eh, decisa. Salto uno, due, eh? Tu da cinque a cinque. Salto su dieci principalmente. Okay? Tu puoi fare la variazione. Se fai la variazione flop sull'otto. Okay? Eh, Oreste lancia bene e tira. Non vi preoccupate di qualche... Vai, 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 vai! Side out here, haven't they? They finally do. But, uh, is it too late in the day? contributions in this match Russia closing in on a four set window Nelly sends that one down the line well, they need to pick up some points quickly here Chef. No, he doesn't. The pancake works. Oh, beautiful. I wonder if that's going to get challenged. I wonder if that's going to get challenged here. You don't need to challenge it because it is correctly called in the chair. Another little mistake. The foot fault. And the look on the face of the coach as if to say, you know what? It's not going to be our day, is it? Kovlev. Hey, 
Cavuto gets blocked out of it. Zemchenko takes that one. And we are at the second technical timeout. And there's surely no way back now for Italy. podium Italy before this match that was unlikely but if they do lose here as looks inevitable that is certainly going to be their fate better take this time and then Nelly gets blocked out of it Semichev well this match started with all the blocks coming the other way it's ending with Italy just getting blocked out of it send for the, re the reinforcements Giulio Pinali will come in and uh, it's uh, Francesco Zoppellari coming in, a young setter who's not seen any World Cup action at all. So he's in. That's pretty much the white flag raised by Gian Lorenzo Blengini. He's seen enough. Out goes Spertoli. Out goes Nelly. And Zani's on the bench. Antonov's on the bench. Italy on their knees. Zopolari so sends that back side. Cavuto will make sure that takes a touch on the way through. Side out. This is a chance, nevertheless, for young Zopolari to just show what he can do. In the time that remains here, and there's probably not much of that. Well, you never know. Kabuto drills one. Plenty of top spin and swerve on that one. Just flew away. Italy's problem is they need six more of those. Ooh, that's another good serve. Two of them going for it there. And Semichev. Just clips the line. That's well played again, the youngster. Well, a bit like Zemchenko, who's at the other end of the experience table. Russia have looked different since he's come in, and Kovalev has certainly contributed a lot as well. Very experienced setter. But, uh, it's been impressive this from Anton Semichev. It's a cool another timeout. Possibly for the last time in this match. Se io al di là di quella che deve essere la chiamata, vedo la linea libera, sto alla linea, non me ne frega un cazzo se dovevamo chiudere, se dovevamo saltare in tre, in quattro o diagonale o parallelo, non me ne frega un cazzo. Se vedo linea libera, sto in difesa la linea. Ok? Non vado dietro il muro. Che prendo dietro il muro? Le palle che tocca il muro, le prende il sei. Ok? Dai, 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 dai,
Zemchen up then at 19-12. Serving off the timeout. Zappalari so sends it inside, no winner there. So Chenup pops up on the far side, rips it off the block. Off it spins, Russia within four points of wrapping this up, and quite ironically, the first set was so one-sided, Italy winning it by a landslide. This fourth set is looking like a landslide as well, but the other way around. We meet in that particular sandwich, two really close sets that could have gone either way. Here, though, it's Russia flying through, and an ace serve comes in from Zemchenko. And that just puts the lid on a very, very impressive personal performance from him. Oh, shredding the two backcourt defenders there, dropping it between them. So Chinock's in a hurry to get out of here, I think. Just took everything off that one. Russo read it. There's the block there, though, from Semishev. Russo's in trouble. Oh, Lavia's in trouble. Philippe off sent that back. Well, how ironic this is. Italy, who were blocking the life out of Russia in the first set, having those blocks coming back at them in bunches here. And it's a complete meltdown in this fourth set. Uh, Thomas Samelvo will look back on this one as a job well done from a coaching perspective. The changes he made after they looked so leggy in that first set really haven't recovered from the Japan game the night before. They've got a chance here of uh, adding to the collection. Semichev does exactly that with the cross court. They are absolutely destroying Italy here in this fourth set. Semichev finishing the job. Both Semichev and Zepchenok started on the bench. They'll finish as double-digit scorers. Zemchenok can uh, keep giving that service arm a workout here. Oh, the zinger. Nicely taken by Pesarese, and yet another block. Oh, dear, oh, dear, Igor Filipov takes Russia the set point. Well, they really have collapsed in a heap here, Italy, haven't they? What a strange match. Two nail biters that could have gone either way, and two blowout sets, one apiece. And it's Russia who are going to secure a four set win here. Zemchenok looking to make it happen right here. It's a good one, and it's gone, and it's an ace. Well, well, well. A very, very impressive finish to that match from the Russians. Zemchenok with the exclamation point at the end of it. He'll pick up his second ace. Russia will pick up their win. And it looks so unpromising at a set down, an 8-4 down at the first technical timeout in that second set. But then Italy started to let the errors flow. But the longer it went on, the more it looked like the Russians would prevail. Some important substitutions, the key there then for Thomas Samelboa. Italy looked absolutely gassed by the end of that. The silver medalists of four years ago will not be on the podium this year. That much we can be certain of. Russia have made sure of that. They won't be on the podium. They've made sure Italy won't be either. With a four-set victory. And that one, it's one that they've really enjoyed against one of their continental rivals. And what a job he did today. Really good job of coaching from Samelbo. Victory photo will be coming up in a moment. They've earned it. Here's the numbers then from that miserable fourth set from the Italian perspective. Just look at that. Forget the attack points, they're not relevant. Seven blocks. Sent back against Italy, three aces as well. Zemchenok sending the last one of those in. Everything else is an irrelevance when you've been as comprehensively walloped as that. Well, it was all the Italy blocks early, and Russia took over. The longer that went on, and 7 0 in that fourth set.
over all in the numbers will look like this the uh, attack points pretty much balanced out as did the blocks in the end Russia with eight ace serves as well and Chenok with a couple yeah Kovlev of course with a couple as well and Kovalev all those crafty serves of his three coming from him